Mm, hello people, this is a man of madness And today we're a playing The Legend of the Burning Fighters So I, I don't know if you know the original game uh, It's a NES game Made by Technos company But that company got uh, Fucked up And this is kind of a uh, what was that tribute? Yes, this is kind of a tribute for the Technos company. It has uh, a lot of visuals from Technos games and characters are from Technos games. But yes, <laughs> so they have been uh, made for. Uh... So this is a fighting game. The characters are made like uh, they are from other games, other games characters or other, I don't know, shows characters, uh, maybe, anime characters, maybe. So, it's a fighting game, it's in Japanese. I don't know Japanese, I cannot read what's been run there. So, there's something off, something on. There are fours and eights over there, but I know I can get in fight with these. The controls are um, numpads, keys 4, 5, 6, 4 is attack, 5 is jump, I guess, or other way around. So we'll see about that. So I can create my character here, I mean I can choose the letters for the name, and then I can choose the uh, birth date of it, and lot type, after that it'll create a random character for that uh, things that I entered but I'm not gonna do that do you know why? because it's not fun because because there are lots of characters as you can see Kunio and then some dude and some other dudes I mean you can go here and as you can see there are a lot of characters there are a lot of characters as you can see there are uh, Billy and Jimmy and you're gonna see another Blee and Jimmy too. It's filled with characters, I mean. Let me see, there must be somewhere Ryu and Ken too. I mean, other games characters as you can see. They're, uh, they have been made as uh, team members, as you can see. Another Blee and Jimmy here. Billy Jimmy, Billy Jimmy. So, I'm gonna do a random pick. Therefore, I need to first count to Kunio. Where is Kunio? Kunio, 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 Oh, time is going and we are wasting here. Did I pass them? No. Wait. Wait. Ricky, as you can see. Kunio, yes. So I'm gonna do a random pick. For that I need to close down the volume 2. And we are going... BAM! This dude! And for my teammate, I'm gonna push the left button, left arrow key, and it's going done. This dude, yay! So that we can give volume now. Yes. So as you can see, teams are there, points are there, versus are there. We are fighting in uh, four teams, two membered four teams. There'll be a lot of blood coming out. As you can see, this is from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, oh, I see Dragon Ball, no. Uh, Double Dragon 2, uh, there was a fucking ninja here, there are a lot of ninjas, this was, fucking Double Dragon was a really hard game too, by the way. I mean, when I was little, I played it a lot, I finished it quite a lot, but I don't know how I came to ending it, because it's in my... In this age I am in, it's quite hard for me to finish that in emulator. Or or even in the fucking NES too. Or Famicom or whatever it is I have. So all the characters has uh, their own special abilities. They, are, they generally have... Uh, generally, they all have uh, three special abilities. So my, my dad, dude, my dude, yes. My dude has this uh, triple kick or whatever that is. 
and has some other special as you can see it has a spinning jump attack it's quite fun though to use them I and mean, after a while you get used to using them and you are like a god playing as you can see when the characters die they drop items and you can take and it will uh, help you fight better they say what they are good for when you take them as you can see so yes 5 does attack 4 is jump on non pad 6 is defense there are other buttons too but i'm not gonna use them to to use uh, to to make your character move you use double ASD keys and i won as you can see so i got four points the winner gets four points second team gets three third team gets two and four team gets one in the end and uh, you're gonna fight uh, the tiger couple like in the nest but if you choose different combination of men like if you choose Ricky and uh, Kunio you might fight with the fucking long dude with a dude or woman or whatever that is with uh, curled hair or you can fight with uh, four people four people team against two less that's quite fucked up it's quite hard and fun too because it's hard to master it's quite challenging so I'm gonna continue so we won the first fight you, we can look what this is yes it shows our uh, stats as you can see yeah that's so important for me and it shows here the points and this is for save if I'm not wrong yes you can save here so let's continue oh this is really bad this is really annoying as you can see it's not uh, it's not sliding through like is a scroller game I mean what is this? It, it does... Fuck! I can't even explain that. It goes like... 60 or 50 pixels at a time. It's quite fucked up. Fuck, what is this? What is this? What is this? I can't even say myself. And I'm dead. And I am dead! Oh, as you can see, you, with the D or A keys, you can uh, fasten the games going. It's quite fun. <laughs> so you don't have to wait like 15 minutes like an... Like an idiot. So we have seven points. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we are tied up with the other team. Oh, this music is nice. Oh, sorry. That was my teammate. So I'm gonna beat this motherfuckers because I can do that. Eat this. Don't try to kill my teammate. My god. So this is really I mean this game is quite fast paced as you can see and the characters they can lock on you quite quite nice. They can jump right where you are going to jump and hit you right away. They're quite fast on that. Yeah, eat this. Eat this. Eat this! Yeah. Yep. Let me. Yes, punch up. Yeah, but I would like to. I would rather have the kick up. Because, you know, I have a triple kick. Yes! I got the pill that saves my teammate. No. Okay, guys. We're gonna end this quite fast. Ah, when you get on uh, covering like this and you push on directional buttons, you'll eventually roll around the place and you'll get around your enemy's attacks. Yeah, you're there. No, you're not gonna. Yes. The blue pills are uh, for your teammates. Uh, rescue witch or revive witch. Sorry? No. Eat this bitch! Mm. Motherfucker! So I probably have a third uh, power too, but I don't know what it is. I'll be learning in the way while playing. That generally happens in that manner. I mean, it's Japanese, it says what it is, but I'm, I don't know Japanese, so... 
I can't read what the fuck that is. Therefore, this is from uh, the basketball game. I don't remember the name. Street, street ball, street basketball. What was that? So that was a fun game too. I played it on ML2. But sadly, I cannot record it because when I try to record it from an emulator, them record gets quite choppy. Die. So guys, don't. As you can see, my teammate has a punch charging attack. I mean, charges punch like the flashes come out, and when he releases it, it fucks people up from afar. Afar, afar, afar. You think you can beat me? With that shit in your hand? With that shit in your hands? With that shit in my hand? Come on, what is my attack? What is my third specialty? Mmm, fuck that. No, that is mine. No, fuck! Ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there is quite uh, a random type of attacks. It's like uh, there was another game of Technos that is. Um, I don't know the name. Like Samurai something, maybe? Uh, it starts as you're in Japan somewhere and somebody stole your girlfriend, somebody's getting fucked up, and you get a dude with you. A glass dude. I mean, eyeglass, dude. Fuck, dude with glasses. Fuck, okay, thank you. You start with a dude with glasses that helps you in your way. You beat a lot of people, and when you beat the bosses, I mean, there are a lot of gangs too. When you beat the bosses, you get their special abilities and you can use them as your own. That was quite fun. I mean, uh, most of the attacks are from that game. Yes, this is from Dodgeball. I guess it's the SNES version. Had I played the NES version, the damn Dodgeball was so fun. It was so hard and so fun. I played when I played it in the hard mode. It was almost impossible for me because I lost a lot and I get mad a lot. Mad a lot. A lot mad, mad, mad. Mm -mm. What is my third move? What is it? Is this that? Is that this? No. Fuck you. You know what? Come here! No, not you. Come here, bitch! Don't run away. Stay in play. Fuck. So. So this is a quite straightforward game, as you can see. You beat people, you win. You don't need to think, you just... You just trust on your reflexes and your usefulness on the game because when you play a lot you just learn how they move it's like it becomes an instinct for you you don't know how you know how they move you know how to act you know what they will do when when you do what so you can take a lot of action by uh, as an instinct haha <laughs> No, I'm not gonna die that easily, bitch! Oh shit. He is Muteki! I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I need to beat them. I need to beat. No, not the HP here. Yeah. So, this is gonna be hard. If I can beat them, that'll be awesome. No, and I'm dead. How fun that is, baby! So beautiful, I lost. Ah, these are the fucking hidden tigers. They're like, they're like, hmm, are they strong? I don't, I don't know if they are strong. I mean, in the NES version, they said that. Let's see what, if they'll become strong or whatever that is. So, this is the first episode ending of this thing. Dealy, whatever that is. So, guys, people, everyone, see you later.